Welcome to Mind Boggling Conversations, a podcast exploring autism and giving voice to the young people of Worcestershire. Uh, we moved into a food tech room, so there's a there is a noise going on, which yes, the lights. I'm highly sure it's either the lights or like a fan or something, because okay. usually there's like cooking going on. But I mean, there's usually noises in any class that no one seems to notice. I'm always like looking around and people are like, right. what, what are you doing? And I'm like, D- can anyone hear that? And everyone's like, no, I, did you, what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> are you okay? I'm like, there, yeah, but there's a noise and no one else, but usually it's like really bad ones. But when it's like consistent ones and it's like, it kind of sounds like brown noise or white noise. Okay. So you talked about brown noise. Brown noise is kind of like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. You know when you're underwater yeah. and you can you can kind of hear things around you, but it's kind of muffled? Okay. It's almost like that, but just one consistent noise. Like a, It's like a consistent white noise just underwater. And white noise is, oh, I hate white noise. So white noise is that static, is it? Like- yeah, it's like a high-pitched one, kind of, and it goes... And I'm like, oh, this, no, no. Right. But brown noise is kind of consistent in the... So, you know, it's a consistent noise. And this one's kind of like that, just a bit more high-pitched. And since it's consistent, it doesn't bother me. Instead of having intervals between it and, oh. like, happening, happening sporadically, you know? So do you use brown noise at home? Yeah, I, even when listening to music. I, I use right. it, like, all the time because it, it just... Like, when I take it off, I feel like, why is everything so loud? So where do you, where do you find your brown noise? Just YouTube. Okay. Just YouTube. So you YouTube brown noise. Yeah, and it's usually, like, one hour and on a dark screen. And I literally, I listen to music with it on in the background because it's just, it's just, it's nicer. It's nicer. Okay. It's, now that this is, this humming of whatever it is, the fan or something, now that I'm sort of tuning into it a little bit, it feels almost... Rhythmical, I can, I can like a heartbeat almost. Yeah, you can hear it going do boo boo. It's because there's one consistent noise in the background, but then there's like an extra thing on top, mm. which is fine. It's, it's literally how I listen to the music with the brown noise and then having something on top. You've been listening to Mind Boggling Conversations, a podcast brought to you by Worcestershire Children First. Mm.